Okay, Ryan Quinn of Sparta gets the Spartans on the scoreboard here. See buries a wide open three-pointer from the right wing to give the Spartans a 3-0 lead here at Pope John High School. Pope John then cuts the lead to 6-3 as the Lions big man JT Wilson posts up and eventually converts the conventional three-point play for the Lions. And JT Wilson can do it from the perimeter. C spots up from the outside and cans the trade and not the score at 8-8 here in the first quarter. But Nick Lanker of Sparta gives Sparta the lead 15-14 with this great hustle on the offensive glass as he puts in Sean Rossi's miss. However, Mike Leonard of Pope John gives the Lions a 20-17 lead at the end of the first quarter as he converts Anthony Greensteel for this easy two. Okay, second quarter action we go. E.J. Duncan, Pope John's flashy point guard, makes a nice hesitation move as he takes it to the bucket to make it 22-17 Lions. Kyle Maslick of Sparta cuts into the Pope John lead here with this bucket to make it 27-24 and the team's traded baskets the rest of the quarter as the Lions took a 36-32 lead at the half. Okay, third quarter we go and E.J. Duncan gives Pope John his biggest lead of the game, 47-37 as he makes the steal and goes the length of the court for the easy lay-in. But Brendan Resney of Sparta dials long distance here off the inbounds pass and cuts the deficit to 47-41 at the end of the third quarter in this key SAIL clash. All right, fourth quarter action will go, and Anthony Green of Pope John maintains the Lions lead here. So he makes a steal and takes it the length of the court to make it 53-46 Lions. But the Spartans get right back in the game here as Ryan Quinn cans another three ball after a nice kick out by Sean Rossi capping a 5-0 run to make it 53-51 Pope John. The Lions will ever have a long distance answer of their own as Anthony Green steps back and hits the trade to make it 56-51 Lions. But Nick Lanker cans both ends of a 1-1 here to help the Spartans inch closer 57-55 with just 48 seconds left in regulation. Okay, big possession here in the game for the Spartans. Watch as they try to work the ball into Nick Lanker. He gets the ball, goes up to the tying bucket, but a jump ball is called, but the Spartans maintain possession. Big play. And they take advantage of it here. Just watch Brendan Resnick hits the leaner in the lane as he sends the game to overtime tied at 57-57. Okay, Kyle Maslick of Sparta scores the first bucket of the overtime here as he goes strong to the hole and gets the friendly roll to make it 59-57 Sparta. And Brendan Resnick of Sparta ices the win here for Sparta as he hits this huge three-pointer to give the Spartans a 70-62 win at Pope John High School to improve the 2-1 in SCIL play. It's big. It's it's something that you know, we want to do every year. We realize this is our last year playing in here, and uh, we just wanted to come out with a win. It means everything to me and all the team because this is our crosstown rivals, and I know they beat us last year, but we were just really excited to come out, and we won, so it was great. This is the last time that we're ever going to be playing in this gym, so we just wanted to come out strong and like because we're going to remember this game. This is the last time we're going to be in here, so it's always good to end it with a win. It builds confidence. Uh, hopefully it helps build more camaraderie, which is what every team needs. Uh, but more importantly, it just gets another W on our belt, and it's a W that you know we need. You know, it, it, when I looked at last year's you know games, we didn't have this moment. We didn't have the moment where we beat one of the top teams. We didn't beat a Jefferson. We didn't beat a Pope John. You know, it took us you know the last game of the season to beat a Vernon. To come in here and beat them, you know, that's that's the moment. That's the win. I think we kind of needed. You know, we had a good win at West Morris, but you know, inside this county, the, uh, we needed this. And I think the kids really willed it out today. They really did. Sean Rossi of Sparta is one of the top players in the SEIL but the rest of the Spartans really stepped it up in the big win against the Lions. The game plan going in is every team's going to look to, you know, deny Sean Rossi. Uh, he's got a great jump shot, and so they're going to make the other players, us, beat them. And, you know, we go in knowing that we're going to have to beat them if they deny Sean Rossi, and I think that's what we did today. Sean still did a great job bringing up the court and controlling it, but we knew in order to help him out, uh, me, Nick, and Kyle, and uh, Ryan Quinn, great junior, and um, we just had to step it up and help him out work it around more and get him open. I think uh, last year, you know, we were we were Sean Ross's team. I think we had, we had four new starters besides Sean. He was the only kid who came back. And I think as the season progressed, we started to find a little bit more in everybody. And, and what we asked him this summer is we made sure that we weren't just Sean Rossi. We made sure this summer that you know everybody became an option. And, and like I said before, we needed that moment where everybody was an option. Tonight, for Brendan to hit that shot, uh, that, that's hopefully going to boost his confidence. But hopefully it shows everybody that, that we're not just Sean Rossi. And, and I tell you what, Sean is a hell of a player. He played a hell of a game tonight. And I think the most important thing that we saw from him is, is he was willing to get the ball up at the end there. And I think that's what makes a great leader and a great point guard. Uh, and obviously, or, or, thankfully, Brendan made the shot. And, and it, it, we kind of took it from there. On opening night, the Spartans suffered a tough double overtime setback to the Jefferson Falcons, and they were determined not to let that happen again against Pope John. We had to beat one of the, the top teams in this league, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and we did that. Uh, and, and it came through a fifth quarter, uh, but like I said, we ended up on the right side, and, like, you know, and that's something we wanted. And Jefferson was a heartbreaker, but the best thing about that, that loss is we got up and we kept on playing. That loss didn't, didn't set on a hangover on us. 
Uh, it didn't last too long. We forgot about it, beat Walk Hill. We had a good tournament. We came out here playing good basketball, and, and, and it paid off for us. With this win, Sparta moves to 2-1, and one, and they're eyeing the final SCIL title. We got 16 winnable games. Uh, Jefferson was obviously a loss, but we played a good game. You know, Mendham, good team. We lost. We played a good game. So, I mean, this shows that we can beat good teams. And, you know, the rest of the season we got winnable games. So 